Spring Cable is lucky enough to be joined by Rico Avery. Rico, welcome to Australia. Thank you. Uh, you know, I'm uh, I'm really pleasured to be out here racing. Uh, you know, with the best racers in Australia here at the Classic. Now you spent a bit of time also at Parramatta at the start of the year, then, then you went home for the Chili Bowl, so you've been pretty busy. Yeah, I raced those five races at Parramatta and then I uh, went home and now I'm back here and uh, you know, then I go back home next week. So how have you found the Australian competition? It's uh, pretty tough, isn't it? It is, you know, it, it is. Uh, you can't underestimate these guys. Uh, you know, everyone, everyone's here to win and everyone's here to drive as hard as they can and uh, you know, this uh, this race means so much to a lot of these dri uh, mo all of these drivers, and to uh, to come out here and uh, you know race with 100, 102 of them is that what they said last night, and to uh, you know such a tough field to only start 18 cars last night in the main event, and you know to get even locked into that B main is uh, you know you've accomplished something. What have you heard about the classic before you come to Australia? Is it something that the American drivers talk about a lot? Definitely, I think it's definitely a race everyone wants to cross off their win list, and uh, you know to. To come and you know defend to, to beat all the Australian drivers and all the American drivers here at one one track is uh, it's really it's really cool to uh, come out here and race with all these guys and uh, you know the all the racing is good and uh, you know the track's really good they they have good equipment they work it and uh, you know it never the track's never bad. Now speaking of equipment, you've got an amazing looking race car. It's a really is a beautiful looking machine. But of course, it's a little bit different. Just for the people out there, just tell us what sort of modifications are in that car just to suit you. We, uh, you know, to, to get my unique stop, my unique structure to fit in the race car, uh, you know, we moved the A-frame forward, the feet pedals up, and then, you know, just to get me closer to the steering wheel and just get me closer to everything, you know, my arm span isn't that long and my feet span isn't that long if you've seen me before. And uh, I, uh, you know, Paul and the Cadians, they all work together, or they work to, you know, get me good, to get me really comfortable in the race car. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really comfortable. And... Keith Coons with the midgets, I'm comfortable in those cars and uh, you know, in order to go fast on these racetracks you got to be comfortable. Now you actually, as I was about to mention, you run a lot of speed car shows or midgets as you call them in America. The wing sprint car, is a lot, what's the different style between the two cars? Uh, you know, there's, you, you're a lot freer on the, you know, the midgets just because you don't have, you know, that, all that downforce from the wing and uh, you know, just a, you know, definitely the horsepower difference with the smaller engine to the 360s and the 410s. Uh, I, uh, you know, I really enjoy driving both of them. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm surrounded by good people dri or working on both those cars and the wing car and the midgets with Keith Coons and the wing car with Paul Silva. I, uh, I, I really enjoy being around all those guys. I'm, I'm surrounded by a great group of guys and, uh, you know, they, uh, they work hard, you know, to get me out on the racetrack and to get me fast and, uh, you know, everything pays off there, you know, when we pick up a win or race well at the end of the night. Now, we're, we're at the Classic. Let's go to another big event that you've recently competed at, the Chili Bowl. For most people in Australia, we don't get to see it. It's during our high season, so we don't get to go to America. What's it like to walk into that venue, see that many speed cars and that sort of crowd on that little small racetrack? It's quite a scene. Uh, you know, there's 270 cars race, on, you know, race without five nights. And, uh, you know, to, to the, the format and to how those guys pull it off is amazing. I, uh, I definitely... Love going to that race. I enjoy being there. You know, I could go there all week and, you know, sit in the stands and watch all the great racing. And, uh, you know, the Swindells are really good there. You know, Kyle Larson's good. Keith's, Keith always has good cars there. And, uh, you know, it's a, for me to, you know, go to that race and run well, it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an accomplishment. Now you mentioned that make the B main here at the Classic is a bit of an accomplishment. You, made, you managed that last night. How, do you, how have you seen your Classic performance so far and, and the racetrack? You know, we struggled there in qualifying. We just went out, you know, we went out late. We were a little free and, uh, to, you know, we didn't qualify well, but we made it up in the heat races last night and got, you know, got us some points. We're sitting uh, 27th in points tonight and, uh, you know, to have these two heat races and, you know, if we can, you know, pull off some more points in these heat races. Every night we were on the track, every time we were on the track last night, we went forward and, uh, you know, if we can keep that up, you know, I think we can, we'll be fine getting into this feature and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, start up the back and work our way up. Now here in Australia, we've got a lot smaller race tracks than what you do in America. You're coming from California. Is that really helped? Do you think adapt to our tracks? Uh, definitely. You know, I, I come from a you know short track background there in California. You know, there's not many, many big tracks besides you know Calistoga or Hanford or Tulare. You know, those are you know I I go well at those tracks too. But uh, you know, the tracks I like is you know Placerville and you know the little bull rings and to come out here, you know, they got a few of those tracks and I think uh, the here. 
uh, this speedway is that think that it's one of the biggest tracks in Australia that I've been to, and uh, you know it's fast. You have a lot of wing speed here, and uh, you know you can uh, you know you can get bowed up behind someone and get some dirty air. And uh, but it's uh, if you race smart here, you'll be fast. And besides all the, of course, the Australians that go race regularly in America that you would have seen a bit of, who in Australia has impressed you during your tour? Uh, definitely James McFadden. You know, he's always he's always exciting to watch. You know, I like. You know, the veterans too, you know, Dumsey and Robbie Farr, uh, you know, I enjoy watching those guys, but, you know, I always, I always watch James McFadden every time he's on the track because he's, you know, he's a smart driver and, you know, he makes the right decisions every time he's on the racetrack and, you know, he's, he wins a lot of races. Speaking to a few of the Americans like I have over the last probably week or so, everyone says that they love watching James McFadden just simply because he's what he does on the racetrack. What, what is it that another driver likes about watching another driver? Is it just the way that they're smooth on the throttle or is it the way they change lines? What is it that makes a good race driver? Well, you know, definitely if you're, you know, you're going forward, uh, you, you know, everyone wants to watch that car that's fast, all, that consistently on the racetrack and, you know, see where they can better themselves to, you know, to go out and beat those guys. Uh, you know, James McFadden is a driver that doesn't make many mistakes. And, you know, 410 race, sprint car racing is all about, you know, the driver that doesn't make, that makes the least amount of mistakes. And, uh, you know, if there's, with the power ratio, it's really easy to make mistakes in these uh, 410 sprint cars. But, uh, you know, definitely watching James, uh, he's, uh, he's well, he's well driven. He's, he's, you know, he's straight headed and, he's, you know, he's just a good driver. Now, Knoxville this year also, we saw Kyle Larson win the prelim night with the, the, the Brew Vineyards on the race car. How did that feel as a, as a family member to win at Knoxville, at the Knoxville Nationals, that, even though it was a prelim? Yeah, that was, it was cool to, you know, have Kyle run our car at Knoxville. And, uh, you know, they won a few races in it with Davey Jones working on it. And that, uh, that car's kind of parked right now just to, you know, we're not sure what Kyle's schedule is like, but, you know, it's there for him when he wants to run it. And Kyle's, uh, you know, he's, really, he's a really unique kid. And, uh, you know, I like spending every chance I get around him. And, uh, you know, we have a close friendship, and he, uh, for him to run our car is uh, pretty special, and, you know, to what he's done the past two years in his career, uh, he's, uh, he's won some races. Yeah, he certainly has, and, of course, he's moving on to the NASCAR side of things now. Did you ever have any aspirations to perhaps drive in that, or, is, or haven't you been able to do that? Uh, definitely. You know, everyone's dreams to go to NASCAR, but, uh, you know, we need to, I need to uh, focus on what I'm doing right now is in wing sprint cars, and, and midgets also this this year I'm gonna run uh, you know about 60 sprint car races and about 35 midget races so uh, I got a lot of races uh, to run this year and to focus on and you know I can't be worrying about you know what my future is gonna be like when you know I need to you know worry about what's going on right now. Now as you say you the car you drive of course has been modified. Is there any, are you leaving the car here so you can come back in future years? Yeah, I I want to leave it here and uh, hopefully Dennis Farrell you know can contain it for us and uh, you know keep it so we can come back next year uh, we've crashed a little bit while we've been here so we're gonna have to send some spare parts but uh, you know Dennis is a Dennis is help helping us out far and uh, he uh, for him to do that I thank him and you know Paul Silva for coming out here and helping me so if you do come back yeah any chance that perhaps you might want to expand the schedule a bit and sort of travel around Australia a bit more yeah, I'd like to, you know, run some World Series races and run some races in Sydney and, you know, definitely come here for the Classic and, you know, Mount Gambia and Avalon. So those are all races uh, that we need to be at if we're coming out here. Now, we're pretty early still here. Of course, we're still a couple of hours away from racing. The fans here in Australia, are, the place is packed already. They've taken to, they take to all Americans really well. They've really taken a shine at you this year. They do, uh, you know. The fans. This is this is a big sport for them, and you know, to get ten thousand people in this stadium or in this around this perimeter of this racetrack is awesome. Uh, you know, this is this is a this race ranks up there to the Knoxville Nationals, and uh, you know, you don't go to many places and see that many people around the racetrack and you know around the around the pit area, and how many cars they get to this is unbelievable. And they they promote it well, and you know, they they do a great job at what you know. Or, the whole facility does. It's a nice facility and a nice racetrack. You know, great races have to make great decisions, and you know they definitely make great decisions here. Now we're going to move away from the racing a little bit. We're going to get to know you a little bit better. What do you like to do outside of Speedway? You, you, you run 90 odd shows a year, and you come out here and race during your winter. What do you do outside the racetrack? Uh, you know, I'm I I'm home a lot if I'm not racing. Uh, you know, I like to go fishing. I like to spend time with my family, my friends. Uh, 
you know, I just like to relax. And, uh, you know, we work, I work, I help work on the race cars, and, you know, there's a lot going on around the shop. And if I'm not home, I'm in Indiana with Keith Coons helping those guys. Uh, you know, I like to spend time with my team, and, you know, they, they, uh, they, really, they treat me well, and, I, you know, I like spending valuable time with them. And just how did you actually get into motorsport? Because we haven't, haven't seen many drivers of, of your stature. It's a, little, it's a little weird, but it's great to see. How did you actually get involved? It's, uh, it's really unique. Uh, I, uh, you know, just had some friends around racing, and I raced some go-karts and, you know, got really competitive in the go-karts, and someone said, uh, you know, let's try to build a sprint car, and, you know, I, we built a sprint car, and I got competitive in that, you know, my first year racing, and, you know, it's kind of just built up from there, and, you know, just running a lot of races, and being around, it's really being around the right people, you know, and, I'm, uh, I'm comfortable in my race car, and I think that's all that matters is, uh, you know, I'm to you know run good laps every time I'm on the track and just finish finish the races. Do you get much? Do you, do you feel you get added, added exposure by being at the racetrack from from your uh, from being the statue you are, or is it? Are you just another racer? You know, I'm just another racer. Uh, you know, but you're gonna get the how unique my body is. Uh, you're gonna get people, you know, looking or becoming fans and I have a lot of fan I have a big fan base and uh, it's pretty awesome how many people are fans around here that you know don't know me and uh, and just met me or just seen me walking through the pit area and they become fans and it's uh, it's really remarkable to me how how quickly this has progressed this fan base and to uh, for just racing two years now and how many people you know know about me or it's uh, it's it's pretty cool. You got a great chance. There'll be a lot of sprint car fans watching this video on Sprint Car World. Just let the Australians know how appreciative you've been of your tour this year. I, it is. Uh, you know, all the all the Aussies are so nice to the Americans, and uh, you know, the, everyone everyone's willing to help ev everyone around here, and it's uh, that's what makes us come keep coming back. And uh, you know, any any Australian that wants to come to American race, you know, they're more than welcome to. And I know they love to. I know they love to race here. Just much as we love to race.